Here's a quick hands-on with the HP Reverb VR headset. So these are the two controllers that come with it. Uh, they're battery powered. Um, the batteries come in a little box right here. So you can get, you can, you know, get those going right off the bat. Um, they come prepared to this headset, uh, which if you look at, looks a lot like a um, Oculus Rift CV1. Uh, perhaps a little smaller in size. It's very lightweight, extremely lightweight. Uh, they've got a different kind of back um, here in terms of design, uh, built-in audio. Um, in terms of specs, you're looking at uh, 90 hertz display with 2160 per eye. So each one eye gets 2160 by 2160 resolution. And um, they are LCDs, but they're low persistence. And they're 2.89 inch LCDs uh, with a total field of view of 114 degrees as opposed to the 110 that you get um, with the Rift and the Vive. And um, it uses Windows Mixed Reality with 6 off. So basically what you do is you just plug this into your PC and the PC automatically recognizes it. And then it uses these cameras to map the environment and um, to track your place in that environment so you don't need cameras to do so. Um, I think the real big deal here is that it's very simple and it only really requires you to have a USB and um, display port connections. So this is the cable, these are the cables that it comes with. Um, basically what it is is uh, it's a single cable uh, that goes into the headset and then you get two cables out which um, this single cable plugs into here, like that. And then uh, it comes out into this cable here, which is USB 3 and DisplayPort. And they automatically give you an adapter, which is this piece right here, to uh, go from standard DisplayPort to mini DisplayPort. So that if you don't have a full DisplayPort on your PC, you can use mini DisplayPort. Um, recommended specs is a 1080 in terms of GPU. So um, you're going to need a good computer to run this because you're looking at effectively a um, 4K by 4K resolution if you combine both displays. And that comes out to effectively double the resolution. No, it's actually the same resolution as 4K. So it's a little bit higher um, because it's 21, it's 4820 by 4820 as opposed to um, 4820 by 2160. Um, because of that, wait, the math doesn't work. That's stupid. It's 4820 by 2160, exactly. So it's effectively a 4K display, uh, but it's running at 90 Hertz, which most 4K displays don't do today, except for some of the really high-end gaming monitors. So. What I would say is I recommend you, if you can game in 4K on your GPU, you're probably okay. Um, but if you can't, then you're probably gonna need an upgrade, which is why they recommend a 1080. I'm gonna be running this on a 2080 Ti, but I'll also try running it on a 2080 as well as a 1080 Ti just to see how it performs. I, I've tried this headset before and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm excited to see what it, it, you know, how it works on my PC as opposed to you know, for a 10 minute demo. Other than that, uh, it's $599, which is a very competitive price. Uh, I'm excited to see, you know, how the market receives this, but they're, they're, they're not marketing this primarily towards consumers, it's actually being marketed primarily towards the enterprise. Um, but I think that there will be a lot of high-end consumer users that will buy these, which is why they're not really shying away from saying that they're also encouraging high-end, you know, um, enthusiasts to buy these as well because there isn't really a headset um, that I've seen that has this kind of, uh, you know, visual fidelity and small size and ease of use. So uh, I'm really excited to see how this turns out and I'll have a review pretty soon. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I apologize for my mathematical faux pas.